I have always compared Elon Musk to Steve Jobs at their brilliancy and ability to bring innovative technologies to society, but this comes with one major detriment. It was in 1983 when Steve Jobs spoke at the International Design Conference saying this. Apple's strategy is really simple. What we want to do is we want to put an incredibly great computer in a book that you can carry around with you that you can learn how to use in 20 minutes. That's what we want to do, and we want to do it this decade. And we really want to do it with a radio link in it, so you don't have to hook up to anything. You're in communication with all these larger databases and other computers. It sounded as though he was completely describing what we would call today an iPad or even an iPhone, bringing these innovative technologies into a way where they didn't have to be plugged into a wall, but something that would fit into a notebook. And he wanted to bring that innovation to society society and a marketable product in 10 years. We now know that those products wouldn't come to the forefront until 20 years later. Now, Elon Musk has been doing a lot of things and making a lot of promises that year over year just have not come into fruition. For example, many other very optimistic people have been waiting for the new Tesla Roadster to be the first reasonable two-door electric sports car ever since it was unveiled five years ago in 2017. Can you believe it's been five years? They originally said it would come out in 2020. And then 2020 came and went, and it was a bit of a weird year. So then 2021 happened, still nothing. Now it's 2022. This car is probably not coming out till 2024, at least. Outside of that, a lot of the Tesla bulls always don't want to iterate the fact that he has been talking about self-driving coming into play for literally the last three years saying we are only a year away, allowing his users to actually take advantage of this. But the big problem now is the promises continue to diminish is Again, Elon offers self-driving to be ready at the end of this year, but you will not be allowed to turn your car into an Uber as promised years ago while you're at work, your car can be Ubering and making you money on the side. In fact, they're taking Google's route, which is basically, you know, until regulation allows, they're gonna be building their own fleet of self-driving where it is most applicable and most efficient. But I am a huge Tesla fan, just like I am a huge Apple fan. I think this business model has a long way to go, but you have to separate the business model from the stock and the hype that this company has brought. And that comes with a lot of volatility right now. It isn't fair to say with all the new judgments and obviously the news and the media coming down on Elon right now, whether it's laying employees off or getting scandals from airline attendants, that I don't think is largely related to the current downturn because a lot of people will fixate on Tesla saying, oh, I told you it was overvalued. But realistically, whether it's Ford, GM, Rivian, Neo. In fact, the only car company that is actually doing substantially well from a stock-based perspective this year is Toyota. But you will not hear anybody preaching about how great and innovative Toyota has been over the last year, to say the least. And I mean, even take a look at Lucid Motors here, guys. It, there's not one EV, pure EV play right now that isn't really underperforming Tesla's current stock performance. But I want to iterate one thing to people watching this, that it is unbelievably hard to have patience and a long-term vision. I've always stated that Tesla's real business model will not come into fruition until 2030 to 2040. And I continue to iterate that this is a growth period for Tesla right now. And they're going to peak very soon without new innovations to continue growing that bottom line. For instance, right now, guys, they have all the factories built out that they're going to be building. And once they meet the current demand of the market, it doesn't matter how efficient you know those factories are. They can only meet so much demand and make so much margin off those vehicles specifically, thus the self-driving and Elon Musk continuing to push that we need to get this done now. It needs to be ready by the end of this year because by the end of this year, maybe next year or three years from now, guys, the max capacity will have been met and the growth will inevitably come down from what we're currently seeing without something else. Obviously, why they're vertically integrating insurance in every aspect of their business. And as a bit of financial advice, this really puts things into perspectives. What if I told you I could guarantee you'd be rich? but it would take 30 years. Well, most people would say that would take too long because you know, if you if you told someone to put $500 away a month and I could guarantee you'd be rich over a 30 year period, if you could find a 10% interest rate at a return, you'd be a millionaire. But people say, oh, that, you know, again, way too long. I don't want to do that. That's going to take forever. Okay, well then why don't you go ahead and put 2,500 away a month or 30,000 a year and you'd only have to do it over a 15 year time period and you'd still be a millionaire and they'd still say, oh, that's way too much money. Oh, that's going to be way too much work and all that stuff. People have a real lack of patience and inability to look farther out into the future and i hope this thing puts some you know perspective into the game here and i'd love to know what you think about all of this in that comment section below stay cool stay awesome and as always i look forward to catching you in the next one